my name is Mary and today I'll share a video with you about uh, calculating your tax. Uh, so when you have the sales, which we have the sales right here in this column and we would like to calculate the tax. So the first thing because uh, we have tax here, it might change. So we want to make sure that we have an assumption table and follow our Excel golden rules. So if something can change, put it in a different cell and refer to it with a formula. So I have my tax rate right here, which we can change and still it will update in our formula. And then we will calculate the tax for every sale that was made. And then we'll also calculate the total due. That will be uh, the sales that was made and plus the tax. So, and now let me go ahead and calculate the tax. So I am in cell B3 and I will start my formula with equals. Always remember when you are doing calculation in Excel to start a formula, you use the equals sign. So equals, and then I will use my arrow, uh, which is my left arrow and go back to one cell, which is A3. I can, use an, I can even use my mouse and click on A3 and then I will want to multiply by my tax rate. So I will use Shift 8 to get the multiplication symbol. Or I can, if you have the keyboard that has the 10 key, you can use your asterisk symbol to multiply. And then I am multiplying by the tax rate. Uh, so I'm using my mouse right now and clicking on I2, which is my tax rate. But because I want to use this uh, tax rate for all the sales, I'll have to make sure that I lock this to make sure that when I copy the formula down, my uh, tax rate will be locked. So to lock that, I will use F4. And there you see it is now locked. And now I can make sure that I enter this. Uh, first, I will do Control Enter, and I will show you that it calculated. Another thing you have to remember once you create your formula, you have to remember that you're dealing with money and also you're dealing with extraneous decimals. So it is important to use the round function. And to come and edit my formula, I did this on purpose so I can show you uh, when you want to add your, your formula, you can still do that. So I will press F2. My uh, cell selected is still B3, and I'll press F2. And then I will come to the end, which I can use my mouse. I can either, I mean, I can use my keyboard. I can either press home, or I can use my mouse and click there. And then I will start my function, which is round, and tab to select it. So my number is this formula that I have here. And then uh, how many digits do I want around these two? So the number of digits here is how many decimals do you want around with two? But because we are dealing with money, so we will round to the nearest cents, which is two decimal places. Uh, we'll put two there for the number of digits. And then I will close with a close parenthesis and control enter. Now I have that and it is uh, rounded to do to two decimal places. So to copy this down, uh, I will, you see when you uh, hover over there and you see uh, that cross, it's called the angry rabbit. When you see that, you double click it. You can either double click it and send it down or you can drag it down. So I will go ahead and double click that to copy my formula down. And once I do that, I always have to make sure that I have the correct formula. So I will come to the last cell, which is uh, B22, and I will do F2 to make sure that I have the correct formula. So when I do F2, I can see my formula is referring to the cells here, which is A22, and it's referring to I22, which is locked up here, and it is the tax rate. So I'm sure my formula is calculating correctly. Escape to get out of that. And now I'll come back and calculate the total due. So the total due uh, for our case here will be the sales that we did plus the tax that was uh, taxed to that sales. So we will use uh, an addition 
uh, sign symbol. So I will use equals to start my formula always. And I'm using my arrow key to go back and select A3 and then plus symbol, which is uh, on your 10 key plus. And then I'm using my mouse right now and I'm selecting the tax that uh, was uh, charged to that sales. And I will say control enter just to remain in the same cell. So here I have, I have my total due uh, for that product. It was sold at $26.79. And then it was uh, taxed $2.41. So uh, the total amount that has to be paid is $29.02. So I will double click there, just like I showed you when uh, I was copying down in the tax column double click and send it down and uh, because I'm dealing with money I want to make sure that I format this the correct way so I will select everything here and make sure that I am formatting I can either do currency or I can do accounting uh, whichever is your preference so I will choose a currency for that to make sure that it's formatted in the correct way and then uh, down here, I want to calculate what was the total amount that was sold, including our tax. So I will come down here and I will type total amount sold. And then uh, I will calculate the total of this. So the formula shortcut to do that, I can use Alt equals. And when I click on Alt equals, Alt equals, it selects for you uh, what you have to add. But you have to make sure that uh, you are highlighting the correct cells that you want to add. So for our case right here, we have, uh, Excel was smart and it knew that we want to add the total due, which is correct. And I confirm that is correct. And I will just say Control Enter. So that it was the total amount uh, that we sold, including the tax. So I will add my borders right there to make sure that I have a neat table. And I will do some formatting here. I will board that and I will add um, a double bottom line. And I will board the total amount. And that's it for today. See you next time.